Join the new Earth on the Cornelia Stephanie Show. Everything is energy, vibration, and frequency. Are you ready to shift your reality now and move into the abundance of your spirit? Call 1-800-930-2819 as Cornelia takes callers and guides people on the path of self-healing, peace, and liberation, releasing everything not in harmony with their divine truth. The Cornelia Stephanie Show, your catalyst for empowerment in the new earth. Hello and welcome to my new show debut today. I'm Cornelia Stephanie and you're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, your empowerment catalyst for the new earth. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here, and I want to uh, thank you so much for tuning in and for listening, and I want you to get a pen and a paper if you can, because I'm absolutely certain that some of the things that I'm going to share today, there's going to be a lot of nuggets for you um, that will assist you in whatever it is that you may be experiencing right now. And as we all know, we live in extraordinary times. And um, it's all for us to claim our true empowerment. So grab your pen, grab your paper, and write this number down, 1-800-930-2819, because today you're going to be up close and personal with me. I want you to be able to call in and share what it is that you're claiming your power in, what it is that you're claiming your authority in, and also call in if you would like me to assist you in claiming your power or claiming your authority that you may be having in your life right now. That's why I um, created this show. This show is about claiming our true empowerment, and that's what I do. So I want to take the first 10 minutes of this segment to tell you little, a little bit about me and what I do, and, and then um, the next segment I want to talk about my recent trip to Kauai and what it is that I do when I um, assist people in claiming their true empowerment, when I changed people's lives in Kauai at a recent meeting, and uh, that was a really, really powerful time. I want to share that story with you and uh, also tell you about how I got started on this path, what my purpose is, what my mission is, what it is that I do. So, um, like I said, my name is Cornelia Stephanie, and for those of you that are tuning in for the first time, I also have another show on Transformation Talk Radio that plays every Friday at 12 noon Pacific time. And that show is called Heaven on Earth. So be sure, because from now on, I'm opening up the show for you to call in and talk to me personally, because I'm your ultimate, ultimate empowerment coach, assisting people with claiming their true power, claiming their true authority. Uh, 1-800-930-2819. So that's my Heaven on Earth show. And I bring, on, on that show, I bring so many amazing people. And I'm just so inspired right now by the people that are showing up in their, um, that are sharing their gifts, that are sharing uh, their healing abilities, that are stepping into their right livelihood, that are here, transformation experts, transformation game changers on the planet. And those are the people that I bring to the Heaven on Earth show. I also have an amazing co-host, Charlene Hess, that's with me on the third Friday of every single month. So be sure to check Check that out. And just make uh, Fridays at 12 noon. You can always listen to the replay. But call us up, and we're going to assist you to move through whatever it is that that is uh, blocking you from stepping into your true, authentic potential. So let's see. Where do I begin? Uh, What is it that – what is my mission? What's my purpose? So my mission 
is to, what my purpose, my mission is to assist people to connect to their soul source as God. Soul source empowerment, their truth, the truth of their divinity. That's one of the things that that I do and that I help people with in my um, uh, public life and also in my personal private sessions is that I connect people to their soul source self to have a deeper relationship with God. And that's the number one thing. The other thing that I do is I, uh, my mission is to empower people to take responsibility, full ownership for what it is that they came here to be. And that is to create the new world and to live in our true authentic nature, to claim their full power. Because one of the things that I'm finding as I'm going through um, just even this last past week is a lot of people are not fully owning their power. They're not fully owning their authority and they're still operating from a place of limitless, being, being limited, right? And the truth is, is that we are infinite, powerless, powerful beings here to build the new earth and um, support each other to live in harmony with our true nature. But we can't do that unless we claim our full power. And that's one of the, uh, the greatest um, gifts that I bring is assist people in claiming that. And the problems that that solves is uh, for you to be able to be the approval of your own life so that you're not looking outside of yourself for approval, that you're not hiding from yourself, that you feel inspired to take action, and that you're not holding yourself back based on an old limiting uh, belief that you're not worthy and that you're not good enough. Because that's exactly what, the, what I've overcome myself, you know, because I feel like for me, what I've done is in this incarnation, in this life, is that I'm actually living two lives in this life. And my old life is the old world. And in the old world, I was probably the biggest victim that you could ever think of. I was the one that had, um, I was a suicidal soul. And I was, uh, tried to commit suicide at least seven or eight times. I had self-hatred at my core. I didn't love myself. I felt like I was unworthy and I was not good enough. And, um, and I just, I just didn't want to be here. And what I realized is through releasing that old world, releasing that old consciousness and letting that old part of me die away, what I realized is that we're continuously giving birth to ourselves. And that's what I've done is given birth to myself because I've lived in the lowest part of myself and I'm now living in the highest part of myself. And that's my new life. And in this new life, I've just created an amazing, amazing foundation for myself and given birth to myself time and time again. And I want to tell you that you are absolutely, that you absolutely have the same and amazing gifts. We all came here with these incredible gifts to share. And that time is now to really step up and fully own our mastery. So um, it was back in 2007. I was still working for I call it the matrix, and I was still working in the slavery system when, um, when I felt like uh, my soul began knocking and my soul was asking me to make a change. And the question that came that the soul was asking me is, do you want to stay living like this for the rest of your life? 
And from that point forward, it was like, I don't, I don't want to continue on living like this because I felt like I was a slave in the slavery system with no passion, with no love, with just running around like a hamster in the hamster wheel. And it was, um, just a cycle that I just felt like I did not want to continue on. And so that was the beginning of, um, awakening to so much goodness, so much beauty, but it took a while because that was back in early 2007 and to, uh, uh, live at the place of where I am now. I mean, that, that has been one of my greatest gifts. And since that time, I've created a lot of wonderful things and I'm, I'm, I'm going to share that with you here today. So right now we're going to take a break and, um, I'm going to invite you all to write this number down, 1-800-930-2819. And at about 920 or 925, I'm going to open up the lines so that you can call in. And if there's anything that you want to share with us and what you're claiming your power in, and if there's anything that you want me to assist you to move through, because we know that all the challenges, every single challenge in our life is giving us the opportunity to release something that no longer resonates and holds value for us so that we can step in to what it is that we value, what it is that we honor, and what's true for us now. Thank you so much for being with me today on my first debut of this show. And I want this to be the show where people call in and claim their power, claim their authority, and step into their truth. We'll see you again here in just a few minutes. We'll be right back after this break. Thank you so much. Hi, thanks for tuning in. You're listening to my debut show today, Cornelia Stephanie Show. It's all about energy, vibration, and frequency. And um, I'm taking callers today, 1-800-930-2819. And Jennifer, I know that you're on the line. Thank you so much for calling in. And just hang tight with us because I want to be able to uh, just share a couple more things. And then I'll be happy to take your uh, question and I'll be happy to um, assist you to move through whatever it is that is um, there with you. So uh, hang tight for just a second. So back before we went on break, uh, I was talking about the last eight years, the last uh, 2007 is when I left um, the matrix, the slavery system, and I ended up... uh, um, moving on to the path that was more in true harmony with my divine nature. And that was, um, at first I became a passion test facilitator. I became a passion test coach and I became a law of attraction coach. And part of the reasons why I chose those two venues was because I knew, cause the soul, it, it's about the soul embodiment. And it was about, um, How do I have passion and how do I stay positive in a world that's filled with so much negativity? And um, so I became certified in those areas and I started teaching workshops and, and, and doing um, uh, teaching people how to discover their passion and how to stay positive and how to use the law of attraction to manifest what it is that they desire in their life. And at the same time, I found um, that there was actually, no matter what I tried to do, even though I tried to think positive, that there was always an undercurrent that was going on underneath the surface where I was feeling like um, emotional stuff that was still there, that no matter what I tried to do to think positive, the emotional stuff was still uh, present. And so then I said, you know, I asked spirit, I said, what is this work about? I really want to develop what this emotional core work is about because 
there's nobody out there teaching it. And I really want to get to the root of what this all is. And this is when I discovered the emotional core wounds and the emotional core wounding of um, abandonment, betrayal, unworthiness, victim and separation from God, shame. These are all core woundings that we as a humanity are overcoming and are um, in the process of experiencing the exact opposites of those so that we can live a life of being empowered, creators, living in trust, feeling safe in our environment. And that's all part of the old world. And what I discovered through this work is that once you release this old energy, the betrayal, the abandonment, the not good enough, the uh, unworthiness out of the sphere of your physical body construct, once you release all of that, it's like that's an old world part of you that is just no longer present. And then you're vibrating at a place of uh, harmony, trust, empowered, connected, because you've never been separate from source. You're always connected to your true source because source has never been separate from you. And that's part of the illusion. So once I went through discovering that work, I started coaching people and I developed my own uh, wholeness coaching program, certification program. And if you want to find out more about that work, you can go to my website, CorneliaStephanie.com, and there's information there about how to become a practitioner and empowerment coach. I pilot, pilot, piloted this program back in 2013, and there's act, active coaches right now that are out there that are teaching this program. And after I did that work, I asked God, source, what was next and um, what is the main cause for war on this planet? And um, for six months, I was listening and I heard that what causes war on this planet is um, people that are not empowered with their emotions and it's anger. Angry people are the ones that um, pull the trigger, whether, whether it's verbal abuse, whether it's um, uh, physical abuse, whether it's passive aggressive behavior. And that's when I decided to write a book and I wrote a book and you can get this book on Amazon. And it's an, an incredible book, Peace, the Flip Side to Anger, how I healed my uh, emotions to heal my body and how you can too. And this book has all kinds of um, powerful techniques in this book about how to transcend anger, how to uh, release your own emotional wounding. This book needs to be in every doctor's office. It needs to be in every healer's office. office. All the uh, therapists that are out there that are wanting to get to the root of their own anger and, and are assisting clients because that is a really important piece because people feel like it's not okay to get angry. And um, this passive aggressive behavior keeps going on and on and on and on. And that's the part that's just not acceptable anymore. I saw it this week with several people that I was working with that they, um, and these are very highly enlightened beings and they just don't feel like it's okay to get to whatever is on the surface. There's something underneath that wants to be acknowledged, that wants to be seen, that wants to be felt, that wants to be released, that wants to be let go. Underneath the anger, there's always a feeling of powerlessness that we don't know how to communicate our truth. And that is the part. If you go to my website, go to CorneliaStephanie.com, on the bottom there is a new to Cornelia's work. There's all of these processes and techniques and tools that I put there for you to um, empower yourself with. These are all free tools. And I'm opening up um, coaching for people. Anybody that wants to get coaching for me, I'm opening this up today. Uh, so whenever you listen to this message, you can email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com. You're going to get one year in my monthly uh, membership session, including one empowerment session with me. Uh, and I'm offering this to everybody that 
wants to get to the root of whatever it is that's blocking you from moving into the abundance of your spirit. So call in, call in at 1-800-930-2819. And right now I want to take Jennifer on the call. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Cornelia. So glad to hear you for the first time. Oh, Um, wonderful. Thank you. Speaking my language. (laughs) Um, So this idea of empowerment. So I, I have 60. I've raised six children, my youngest on the autism spectrum. And I, we were actually in a fundamentalist cult for 25 years. Basically, I raised my children there. And from 2003 on, I was practicing affirmations and law of attraction and feeling like I was making a lot of progress. And then I just had like a major setback at this I just feel like I hit the wall and I'm not, I'm in a kind of a worse situation than I was. Um, and I'm, I'm just not, you know, with the family issues and my husband and, and so anyway, I'm financially dependent and I just like, I have no comprehension or idea or all the dream work, all the other stuff I've been doing. It's like, it's just failed. So that, that's what I feel like. And I'm just kind of groping my way through. At this point, yeah. So uh, I, I don't know I where to start. At that. Yeah, it's it seems like there's a lot there, Jennifer. And um, so, first of all, I want to say to you, thank you so much for being courageous to call in today, and to to say what it is that you're saying, and to share what it is that you're sharing. And I just want to tell you that from this moment forward, that your life is now changing. I I just want to let you know that that has already happened because you've already taken this step. You're in a place right now. It sounds to me like, like you're, you're feeling like completely powerless because there's so many areas of your life that, um, uh, that are asking for healing, that are asking for empowerment, that are asking for resolution, that are asking for, for you to fully step up right? For you, for you to fully step up. Mm-hmm. And so, um, yes. is that right? Yes, absolutely. I feel like I'm all locked down and changed. Like I really am not, I've never felt like I'm just behind a concrete wall. I really felt like up till the last week I was making a lot of progress. And then, um, situations with my husband and my family it's like no get back down under the ground where you belong (laughs) yeah oh I really feel like I for the first time I feel like there's no way out I'm so just I just I'm driving I've got my granddaughter in the car she just fell asleep and I said I she's speaking my language I have to call in so I'm I'm so um, glad you did it stay forward yeah, this day forward. From this day forward, and bless you for um, you know calling while your granddaughter is in the car because that's who you're doing it for. You're doing it for yourself, but you're also doing it for the mm-hmm. children. It's our responsibility. Mm-hmm. But the first thing I want you to do, yeah. Jennifer, is I want you right here and right now to remove the wall. Okay. So say it out loud. I'm removing the wall now. I'm removing the wall now. I'm I'm claiming back my power. I'm claiming back my full authority. I'm claiming back my power. I'm claiming back my full authority. And I'm open to all of the solutions that are already there for me now. And I'm open to all of the solutions that are already there for me now. That right there, what you just said and what you just did is the beginning because you've just removed the wall. The the wall is no longer there. It is now removed because you said so. Okay. I believe you. That's how much power you have. It's just that we, we don't, you know, when we feel like victims, when we feel like, uh, when, when the people that have, um, that we've given our power away to that have tried to Mm -hmm. keep us small or tried to get us to hide or that have tried to keep us stuck. Um, 
that mm-hmm. they, they, they're all playing their parts perfectly. So I, I just want you to know that too, and really to accept really where it is that you are right now, that um, mm-hmm. accept where you are, the, the, because this is the, it, it doesn't mean that you have to like it, and it doesn't mean that it's okay, mm-hmm. because it's not. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. but when we can accept without resistance where we are, then really the change can happen. But I want you to use that fire and I want you to use that power and I want you to use it for fuel and freaking get pissed, get pissed and get moving and claim your power back. And so I'm going to give you an empowerment mantra. And since you're driving right now, you're not going to I'm be able parked to now. So I'm, a, I'm not driving. So I'm okay now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to give you this empowerment mantra, and this is for everybody that's on the call, too. This is for everybody that's on the call and that's listening to this. And thank you, Benny, for letting us skip this break because I've, I've already um, gone over the break time. Um, so uh, what I want you to do is write this down. First, I want you to say it, and then I want you to write it down, and, um, and then we're going to go from there. And so that's, I claim back all of my power. I claim back all of my power. All that was taken from me. All that was taken from me. All that I gave away. All that I gave away. And all that I lost. And all that I lost. In any time, space, or dimension. In any time, space, or dimension. I call it all back to me now. I call it all back to me now. As it is. As it is. As it was. As it was. As it shall be. As it shall be. I'm missing the last one. Yeah, as it shall be. As it shall be. So this is this is the part of really owning and I want you to use this empowerment mantra three times a day Mm -hmm. wherever whatever you're faced with because all the challenges in our life all the challenges that you're experiencing right now are asking you to claim your power everything is there for you to really fully step up and shine your light it's it's not acceptable for you anymore to give your power away and hide. Just mm-hmm. look in the back seat and see your granddaughter daughter there. That, that would be the same as saying for her, to shine, for her to hide her light and for her not to be empowered. You're healing the generations of your family lineage right now all the way back, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Of your mother and yeah. your... Uh, all the way back, all the way back, you know, because this is, is this is part of the conditioning that we've been conditioned into. And so you're 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 mm-hmm. releasing all of that for for the family. And because I heard you say it's my family, my husband. So the family mm-hmm. that devalues the feminine, the family mm-hmm. that or the husband that devalues the feminine, that doesn't realize how amazingly beautiful empowered and uh everything happens through the feminine look at look Mm -hmm. at your granddaughter again um it's Mm -hmm. you know devaluing that energy is Mm -hmm. that resonating with you yes absolutely 100 percent okay okay Mm -hmm. awesome awesome um please take my uh my email down radio at Cornelia Stephanie.com and email me and I will have a dialogue with you, um, outside of, outside of the radio show and, um, you know, tune in whenever, uh, because I'm going to be doing this, this show and helping people, uh, move past whatever Mm -hmm. it is. Do you feel like, um, this was helpful to you? For the first time in two weeks, I feel like I can start breathing again. Yes. Okay. Very helpful. So what is it that you're going to do now? Um, I'm going to write down those affirmations 
right, my daughter-in-law is having a baby and I've got her other kids. So right now I'm going to put this one down for a nap and start seeing what we just said. Yeah. And you can yeah. also listen to this uh, replay again. You'll also be able to re listen yeah. to the replay again. Go mm -hmm. to um, my website, CorneliaStephanie.com, and look at the tools that are there available to you. But truly, that's what it is, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. You're here to claim your power, and you've got to get, um, you've got the empowerment mantra, and now I'm calling you to it, and I'm asking you to, to be responsible for your energy and to use that energy. Mm -hmm. um, will, you, will you honor and value yourself? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And are you willing to yeah. do whatever it takes now to show up in your light? show up in your love, show up in your authority. I am. Okay. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to show up in my authority. Wonderful. Wonderful. And that is how it's going to be because now all you have to do is just show up in that energy, claim your power, claim your authority, and know that everything that's challenging you in your life right now is for this reason, for you to step into your power, for you to step into your authority, for you to be, um, for you to value yourself. And when you value yourself, when you show up for you and you don't give your power away to an outside source, an outside authority, uh, whether it's your husband, whether it's your family, it doesn't matter who it is, but you've got to be the one that's got to um, move beyond the paralyzation Feeling mm -hmm. paralyzed, right? Yeah. I yeah. I was paralyzed when I was 15 with a disease that nearly killed me. I was totally paralyzed. Wow. So it, it kind of never left in a sense. <laughs> Until I, I'm now. looking forward to look, going to your website and looking at your, the tools. Wonderful. Until now. It never left until now. I just want you to know it's all right now. Everything is right now, you know, pull all of your energy, call all of your energy back into this now, all of it into now, you know, release the past, let go of the past, make peace with the past and call it all back to you now, calling all that energy back to you now. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Jennifer. So much. I look forward to using your tools on your website. And connecting with you. Yes, connect with me. Yeah, love to. Okay, be well. Take good care. Hi, you're listening to, to the Cornelia Stephanie show, and I'm just so excited that Jennifer called in, and Jennifer, thanks so much for calling in and being courageous to um, share what it is that you're claiming your power in. And right now, I have another caller that I want to take, and that is Robin. Robin. Hi. 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 Hi, Thank welcome. Thank you. Thanks so much for. Um, I was listening. You were listening. I was Robin? listening to Jennifer and I just. Yes, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, I was just saying that I was listening to Jennifer and I was just blown away by her, just by her and her situation and her story and um I appreciated her her calling in because I I relate to her and um I just think what she's what she's doing is fantastic yeah and so Robin I know you and you are one of the um wholeness practitioners uh coaching practitioner practitioners that's taken my course so thank you for calling in and sharing your voice. And why don't you tell the audience um, 
what this whole thing, this empowerment thing has done for you in your life. And then I want to take another caller because I have two other callers on the line. So why don't you share with us Absolutely. what this has done for you? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so um, I, I took Cornelia's wholeness training, life coaching course. Probably it's been three or four years by now. And um, and I also did, I was a longtime um, client of hers as well. And it has, it's hard to even tell you what it's done for my life because it's transformed my entire life. Um, it's, you know, when you're in it, it's hard to, it's hard to give exact details, but I just have an entirely different way of thinking now and an entirely different way of seeing. And rather than have my emotions, um, dominating me and being a victim of my emotions like anxiety or fear or stress or anger or sadness or and I guess before I met Cornelia and worked with Cornelia I felt like anytime I had one of those emotions arise I was trying to escape it and I think that's what most people do they try to escape it so even with healthy things, like I'm obsessed with yoga and I would do yoga um, all the time. I'm a yoga teacher and that was very beneficial for me um, to do the yoga. But also at the same time, I wasn't, I was moving energy through me, but I didn't realize that I, in order to really work through my issues and not have the anxiety or not have the fear or not have the, um, come up, I need to allow my feelings to be there and be present and um, love them and allow them and feel them free, as Cornelia says. Um, quite often she says, you need to feel your feelings free. And so I would um, learn how, I finally learned how to sit and be comfortable with discomfort. And um, I guess seeing that it's not anything that's going to harm me and it's not bad for me. Feeling negative or feeling these emotions, heavy emotions come up is not bad for you. Um, it's actually good for you because these feelings are coming up for a reason and they want you to address them and they want you to love them and they want you to free them so that they can be free and that you, then it creates space for you to be a more light-hearted person and have uh, it creates space for for new emotions like joy and freedom and peace. Yeah. And, and so, so Robin, how empowered? You know how empowered do you feel living your life in the new world with a, a mother of twins and a six year old, or is is Leif seven? How empowered do you feel seven. to um, to build this new world? Uh, how, how do you feel? I feel like I'm not afraid. <laughs> I feel excited about it. Mm. Um, whereas before, it was it almost felt like I was just in survival mode. And now I feel like I'm in creative mode. And so it's completely different. It's like, oh, what fun thing can I work on creating now with my emotions? Um, instead of what, how am I going to get through this day? And so it's a, just a completely different lifestyle. That's, uh, so I would say I feel empowered and I feel free. Those are the two main feelings that go on with me now. As a, and of course, I do still feel that, you know, things come up all the time. Different, you know, I get, I still get, of course, I get stressed out. I have three kids, and I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to balance everything, and um, I do still get stressed out. But now I have the tools to work through those, and I don't just feel completely taken over by them. So, Robin, you said it. You feel empowered, and you feel free. That right there is what your children, um, the vibration that your children are growing up in, feeling empowered and feeling free. And that's what we as a humanity 
this is my purpose, is to assist people to move into their empowerment and feeling free. Robin, I love you. Thank you so much for being a wonderful example and a role model for all the young people out there that are having children and that are moving beyond all of these uh, old conditions, old beliefs. Thanks for calling in and inspiring the audience. And I'm going to take another caller. Okay. Thank Thanks, you love. Much. Okay. I got the chill. Love you. <laughs> Love you. Okay, so we have another caller on the phone. Benny, um, could you put her through? Yeah, Don from Kauai. Don, welcome to the show. Don, Don, Don. Thank you. Hi, Aloha. Don. Aloha. <laughs> so I never did get to tell my story uh, that I wanted to share okay. about. The um, the the evening that I met that I met that I did the um, the divine feminine empowered rooted in her core essence and you were a part of that evening and uh, that was yeah. um, an, an amazing time and I'm going to tell that story and uh, at another time but I just want to be able to have you share um, what that experience was like for you. So see if you can do it in just a few minutes because we only have a few minutes left. So what that experience was like for you, what was it like for you that evening, um, what you released, what you let go of, and um, what's shifted for you since then? Hmm? Okay. Well, yeah, I was just actually calling in to get you pissed off. So, you know, knowing that <laughs> anger is still... <laughs> It's a joke. <laughs> it is a joke. Well, it is a joke, but it's also an awareness of anger. Yeah, is is the fuel for the motivation and the action in life. And uh, yeah, meeting you in Hawaii was amazing. Um, that night, I yeah, all of us. It was life changing for all of us. What I got really present to, and even after years and years of counseling. You know, I always thought I was not good enough. But that night, it became clear that it was, there was a, a deeper thing that that was present. And that was, I was insignificant. And that was so much deeper than not good enough. And once I got aware of that and all the instances that made me believe that, I waited my turn very patiently. And when, you know, it was my turn and somebody got up, I waited. I waited because I've, that's what I've done in my life. Is I've waited. I've been mismanners. And, you know, that's what was ingrained in me. Um, and so when I did speak that night, I spoke with presence because I was so clear <clears throat> that I am significant I am so significant and that I wanted everyone to hear that so it was yeah it was completely life-changing wonderful <laughs> yeah it was a wonderful and it was life-changing for um for for me and for the other women that were there and um next next month I'll come back and, and share the story of, of what we did because I really want to go um, tell that story because we laid down a new grid that evening and lives changed and transformed. And this is this is what I do. I empower people into their truth. Don, I want to thank you for calling in and I want to let everybody know tomorrow I'm doing a show and I'm having you on as a guest. I just recently met you in Kauai and um, I'm having you on as a guest because you have an incredible story. And I want you all to hear this story because Don's mother was murdered um, six years ago, back in 2012. And we're going to bring, I'm going to bring Don on tomorrow and she's going to share the story of how she survived her mother being murdered and um, how she moved into peace and forgiveness over these years. It's an incredible story and it's, it's going to be, it's going to blow your socks off. So Don, thank you so much for calling now and um, tuning in and sharing this. And, and I'm going to have you on the heaven on earth show tomorrow. And of course, what would heaven on earth be like if we didn't have forgiveness? Um, I look forward to being with you tomorrow. 
everybody tune in for this show and um, listen to Don's incredible story. Thanks for calling in, Don. See you tomorrow. Love you. Love you. So I think, do we have time for another caller, Benny? I think we can wrap it up. Yeah, we have about four minutes left. Go ahead. Okay. So Bob from Lacana, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to be here. Hi, Bob. Thanks for calling. (laughs) You're welcome. I just wanted to uh, wish you well on your opening opening show in this new program. It's very exciting. I want to tell the listeners that uh, I've been around for a while. Uh, I'm 91 as I'm speaking here now. And Cornu has been my friend for the last five years. And we've had a great time. She's actually become a part of, of the household. And we are, uh, the three of us, her partner, myself, and she are all uh, getting up together here and uh, having a wonderful life. But I, I just wanted to just wanted to tell uh, all your listeners, Cornelia, just how excited uh, you've been in my own life and uh, let them know that I've been around close by uh, with many close encounters uh, with you, and uh, I've been able to see what you've been able to help other people to do, and uh, as well as what you've done for me. So here I am, an old guy. Uh, I know you don't like that term, but just to get, let the viewers know, um, I'm a, I'm an old dog, and the question is, can you teach an old dog new tricks? And you have helped me with the tools that you provided me with, and to overcoming a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff connected with age. I've come out truly out of the old world and you've had me look at that. And now you've equipped me in a way that I can go back into that old world now and look at it entirely differently. And I'm just, uh, I'm just beholden to you for that. Cornelia. You've just done such a wonderful job helping me to see uh, myself in a different light and see what I can do. So as an old guy, as a 91-year-old, I am really uh, feel like I'm living living a new life, actually a new life. I'm happier than I've ever been. I am ready to go. I am uh, trying to keep in shape and keep my mind sharp. And all of that, all of that has to do with you, Cornelia. So thank you so much, Cornelia. Thank you, Bob. And thank you. And it's the same thing that, that you're doing and that everybody's doing. We're living two lives in this life. We're letting go of the old world and we're um, giving birth to the new world. We're giving birth to ourselves. And it doesn't matter how old you are and it doesn't matter what you've got going and it doesn't matter what you're overcoming, that this is what we're all doing. And this is my gift that I bring to humanity and that is to assist them to move into the abundance of their spirit and to move into their empowered self so that we can build the new world because we were never born to fit in. We were born to build a new one. I want to thank Jennifer. I want to thank Don. I want to thank Bob. And I want to thank all of you that are listening to this now and listening to this in the future please tune in every month on the first thursday of the month at 10 a.m when i'm going to take people through empowerment and um tune into my show tomorrow on heaven on earth and thank you so much for listening and it's been my pleasure namaste